Hello peeps, right I've started framing out the back wall of the bathroom. Now if you remember, I'll tell you what, let's get some lighting on behind me and turn the lighting off in front of me. Now if you remember, I built that cupboard up here in the top. Remember I framed it out. You might not remember it, it wasn't a particularly memorable video. But below it, I've started to frame out and insulate the false wall for the back wall of the bathroom, toilet, whatever. Um, the reason I've done it is because I shall be installing, you're never going to see that, it's a tip up sink. It won't be to everybody's taste, but it's perfect for me. I'm just going to give you a quick I'm just going to quickly mock it up and give you a quick look of what it'll roughly look like before I finish cladding the bathroom. Back in a sec. Right, so one very hasty mock up later. There's my sink. Obviously it's going to be clad behind it in some more of this Storm Bright, Storm Clad, whichever one I'm using. I've got two different makes, both from the same place. But there's my sink. There's a place to put my tussie brushes and me soap. I do wash, sink folds up, water comes out, comes out of a drain hole down there. The sink is fitted level with the inside of the van and the van's obviously on a slope because the back's higher so it's got a two degree slope so all the water will run off into the drain. Below the sink there that will be built out and there'll be a different wall. This Obviously this back wall is going to be where that ply is, that's just a spacer. There'll be white cladding as I say, same as this. Down below it, it'll be built out six inches so I can fit a 23 litre plastic jerry can in there or I may get a tank custom made, I really don't know yet. I want to be able to take it out to empty it. Um, it's only going to be for the sink, nothing else. That's going to be the only sink in the van. I'll do all my washing up outside in a collapsible washing up bowl. I don't intend to be doing everything inside the van. I don't intend to live inside the van. This is going to be a camper come workshop. So it's not like I need every comfort from home, but that's just a support to hold the sink up so I can show you what I'm doing. So there you go. There's my sink. That's where it's going to go. In exactly that spot. Just got to finish cladding the back wall and I'll do that before I put this video out so it'll look like I've been really really clever and done it all in one day when it's taken me a week. It was six days of me sitting here scratching my ass wondering what to do. Right there you go, a few corner pieces and a bit of ceiling in the corners and that's pretty much the water, the sink done. I've got the waste pipe to run out the bottom, it's only screwed up with two screws but I'll put that top piece on. Doesn't look too bad, quite pleased with that. Just gone through my fourth tube of uh, 512 Caravan and I haven't even touched the roof yet. <laughs> I've glued everything with it. This motor's never coming apart. But it's pretty much how the ambulance builder has built it. So there you go. There's my sink. I won't stay white for long, I can guarantee you. Uh, maybe a later that I'll get some stick on tiles. Make it look a bit different in here. But for now, it's done. It looks all nice and clean. That's my uh, mock up toilet. Needs to be a bit taller. My back won't take being that low. But there you go. All done. 